Right the other lookout hill. You're in my sight. And go! Come on, legs. Just a little further. I'm sure I can be my previous best time for getting up this hill. Yes. 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 Let me check that time. Awesome. Be there by 10 seconds. I can't wait to tell Jack. this new bike. I still can't believe that it's really mine. Thanks, God. Kay got to go to the excursion. I'm pretty sure he had a good time. Well, it's hard to tell with Cade. Speaking of Cade, I think I can see him. Down on the edge of the quarry. What's he doing? Sneaking around there. Hey, wait! There's someone sitting at the edge of the embankment. Is that Chloe? I wonder what she's doing there. Looks like she's reading a book. Kate seems to be sneaking up behind her. I don't think she knows he's there. What's he doing? Oh, no! He just pushed her down the embankment. And now he's running away. Hey, what are you doing? I've got to go down there and see if Chloe's all right. <laughs> Chloe, are you all right? Oh, my, my ankle is really sore. I don't think I can stand on it. I saw what happened. Cade pushed you off the embankment. I saw it all from the lookout. He snuck up behind you and shoved you over the edge and just ran away. I was just sitting here reading my book. And then uh, suddenly I was just pushed over the edge and, and landed here. I used to like to go to the park, but... Kate yells at me all the time when I'm there. I found this quiet place instead. Oh, and, and now you say he pushed me in here too? Ouch. I'm going to get some help for you. Stay there and don't try to walk on your ankle. I'll be as fast <laughs> as I can. Thanks, Jono. I'm glad you're here to help. You were in the right place at the right time, Jono, to help Chloe. No matter what happens from this situation, I am with you. Jono, what's up? You look worried. It's Chloe. She has been pushed off the embankment and has hurt her ankle. Your house was the closest, so I've come to see if you could help or get help. 
Of course. Jono, where exactly is she? Up in the old quarry, just up the hill from here. That ankle is swelling up, Chloe. I think you may need to get an x-ray. Are you hurt anywhere else? A few cuts and scratches, I think. And I'm, I'm pretty achy all over. Do you know what happened? I was just sitting up there reading my book. And then I felt someone push me and I landed here. Did you see who it was? No. I didn't even know anyone was around. Jono said he was up on the hill and saw it all happen. He came rushing down to help. He checked I was okay and then went to get you. He said he saw Cade push me. He did. I was riding my bike and I was up on the lookout, just up there. I saw it all happen and I raced down to see if Chloe was all right. Well, the first thing we'll need to do is to get you out of here, Chloe. I called your mum before I came, so she'll be here soon to take you to a doctor or the hospital. I will wait here with you until she comes. I saw what happened at the quarry this morning. I still can't believe that you hurt Chloe. They're taking her to the hospital to see if her ankle is broken. And what has Chloe being hurt got to do with me? I saw you push her. I was at the lookout just above where you were. Did Chloe say I pushed her? She said she didn't see who it was. She just felt someone pushing her. Well, maybe it was you who pushed her and you are now trying to blame me to cover it up. I didn't push her. I went down to help her. Well, she didn't see me, but she saw you. Maybe you were just trying to blame me to cover up for what you really did. Kate, we both know it was you. Maybe we do. But if you try to make me take the blame for this, I will just say it was you. You hurt Chloe and then try to make it look like it was me. And you were first on the scene, the first person she saw. You were just trying to make it look like you were helping her after you hurt her. That is so untrue. And you know it. But you can't prove it, so that means nothing. I'm not going to waste my time talking to you anymore. I can't get too close to you. Maybe you will hurt me too. Jono, you have done the right thing, even though you have been falsely accused and unfairly treated. My son and I know what that is like. We also have experienced it. I am with you. I can bring good out of bad situations. Cade, your actions break my heart, but I love you so much. I will never stop trying to reach you so you can know me and understand that I want the best for you. I can't believe it. I tried to help him, even paid for his excursion. Why did I even bother? Jono, did that door do something to you? No, Kay did. He makes me so mad. He's next level, Dad. I don't know why I ever wanted to help him. What's happened to get you so worked up, Jono? I went riding on my bike up to the lookout while I was just getting my breath back. At the top of Lookout Hill, I saw Chloe sitting on the edge of the quarry, reading a book. Then Kate snuck up behind her, pushed her over the edge, and ran away. I rode down as quickly as I could to see if she was okay. She had hurt her ankle, so I went to Mrs. Jones' place, which was the closest place to get help. Chloe's going to the hospital to get x-rays. Anyway, I saw Kate at the park on the way home, He's denying doing it. And he said he's going to blame me. That doesn't sound good, son. Did Chloe see Kate push her? That's just it, Dad. She said she didn't see who it was. Kate said to me he's going to deny it and blame me because I was the first person Chloe saw after she was hurt. I saw him do it, Dad. 
I even yelled out when I saw it happen. It's so unfair. I was just helping. And he doesn't know it. But I also helped him. And this is what I get. <sighs> the important thing though, Jono, is that you know the truth. But what if others don't believe the truth? How can someone be so mean, Dad? I still can't believe that Kate would do that. Remember that battle of good and evil, Jono? It is very real. You are seeing it played out right here. One little episode. Innocent people get caught in the fallout, impacted by the negative consequences of others. This is exactly why God actioned his rescue plan. I know it feels like nothing may be happening with it, but it is underway. The rescue, that is, God's rescue. But it's not fair, Dad. You are right, son. What is happening to you is not fair. But hold on to the truth and stay calm. But what if other people believe Kate's story? That I did it. I would never do that. It's really not fair. I don't like what is happening. I don't like what is going on. It's really not fair. I don't like what is happening. I didn't even do anything wrong. It's really not fair. I don't like what is happening. I don't like what is going on. It's really not fair. I don't like what is happening. I didn't even do anything wrong. Why have I been accused of someone else's mess? I wish he would own up, I wish he would confess. Why have I been accused of someone else's mess? This is really causing me some stress. Why have I been accused of someone else's mess? I wish he would own up, I wish he would confess. Why have I been accused of someone else's mess? This is really causing me some stress. It's really not fair. I don't like what is happening. I don't like what is going on. It's really not fair. I don't like what is happening. I didn't even do anything wrong. The important thing, Jono, is that you know the truth. Always tell the truth and trust that people know what you are like. People know and trust you by your actions. I believe you, son. I know you did the right thing. Remember the story of Joseph in the Bible? Joseph and his brothers? Yeah. Come here for a moment and we will read the story. It might help take your mind off what is happening with Cade and give you an example of trusting God and standing up for the truth even when things are not going like you would hope. Hello? Hello? Hey brothers, look over there. Someone is coming down the road. Is that Joseph? I think it is Joseph. Father's probably sent him to check up on us again. Joseph the Dreamer, father's favorite. I hate how he always does the right thing and tries to make us look bad. Remember that dream he had? All of the sheaves of wheat bowed down to him. And the sun, moon, and stars bowed down to him too. Thinks he's so much better than all of us. <laughs> it would be so much better without him alone. Joseph never does anything wrong, at least according to father. He does seem to think that he's better than the rest of us. As firstborn, it should be me that gets the privileges father gives to him. Well, brothers, we always seem to talk, but why don't we do something to fix this situation? To give Reuben back his rightful position? I like how you are thinking, brother. This is our chance to get rid of Joseph... permanently. Of course, he could have a nasty accident. A fatal, nasty accident? Hey, brothers. Let's just think about this. Listen to what you're saying. How about we throw Joseph into that old well over there? He won't be able to get out of that while we can work out what to do with him. Sounds like a great idea to me. 
Let's do it. That was so mean, Dad. Why were they so cruel to their own brother? They were very jealous of Joseph, and sometimes when people do the right thing, others don't like the way it shows them up. So what happened to Joseph? Did they really kill him? Reuben, the oldest brother, was planning to sneak back later on and rescue Joseph. He had to go away on a job for a few hours, and when he came back, he found Joseph was gone. The other brothers saw an opportunity to make some money. Some slave traders were passing by on their way to Egypt, so they sold their brother Joseph as a slave. I'm glad they didn't kill Joseph, but being a slave will be pretty bad. Joseph would have felt terrible, betrayed, heartbroken. He couldn't even trust his own family. Yeah. I can't imagine how Joseph felt being treated like that by his own brothers. I feel bad enough being treated like I have by Kate. Hey Ali, you ready to practice the audition song so we can be ready for the school musical tryouts? Yeah, sure Mel. I have the lyrics here. It's called, Will You Believe? Okay, I'll start on the part marked as singer one, and you do singer two. Sure. Will you believe everything I tell you? Everything I tell you. Will you Yeah, I do love singing. I hope we get into the musical. Interesting lyrics. I wonder what it means. Will you believe everything I tell you? Do you think the song is telling us not just to believe what someone tells us without getting proof? Maybe. But I think I would be able to tell if someone told me something that was not right. Hey, Jack. Did you hear what Jono did to Chloe? No, what happened? Chloe was up at the quarry reading her book and Jono came past and just pushed her over the edge. She may even have broken her leg. Why would Jono do that? I guess he just thought it would be a fun thing to do. He didn't think it through very well though. That surprises me. It doesn't sound like something Jono would do. Surprised me too. Shows you don't know people as well as you think you do. So, Cade, how do you know about this? Were you there? Me? There? Oh no, I spent the morning at the sports field with Mr Adams marking out the course for the athletics carnival. I just heard about it. Pretty shocking, really. Hmm, it doesn't sound like Jono. Yeah, I get that. I'm pretty disappointed in Jono too. But mostly I'm concerned for poor Chloe. Don't be tricked or deceived into believing something without looking at all the facts. Just because someone tells you something doesn't mean it is true. 
use your discernment and look at all the information before you believe something. I needed help, but I didn't know. Needed saving from an evil foe. But I didn't even know that I was needing rescue. I didn't even know. That I was needing I need, I need you.